Hey everyone, and welcome back. I'm Mr. Stoltz. There is always, and I gotta say always, a lot of tension, a lot of sweat, a lot of work that needs to be put in in order to grab a pair of these. It's never ever easy and you have to stay on top of your game to know every single outlet where there is a small possibility to grab a pair, but it is possible. As you can see, I was one of the lucky ones that was able to grab a pair and I got mine from the European Adidas store. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes. It tends to be around an hour. I've never gotten a pair like in five minutes or so. Have any of you guys got it like straight away? I've never heard anyone get it straight away. I remember when I almost got my 750 triple black in my size. I should place an order, I got it. I got an order confirmation email from Adidas saying that your order has been received. But like two days later, I went in to check to see what the status was all about and it said canceled. So this happens once in a while when Adidas is, um, you know, there's too many people actually wanted to get these pair of shoes. So there's too many orders coming in and not enough pairs for every single person. And that's what happened to me on the 750s. Did this happen to you on this model? A lot of talking, so let's move straight into the box. This one has received a big upgrade from B1. B1 only had a few logos. This one, on the side of the box, it says Boost. And on the top lid, 350. And on the front, made by Adidas, adidas.com slash Kanye. One little quick thing. I know there's a lot of people that don't really know the differences between a little thing on the bottom right corner of the box. For example, I bought mine from the European Adidas store, not the US Adidas store. So this one might look a little bit different from yours. On mine, it says EAN, and that stands for European Article Number. So, a little bit different from yours. At the V1 box, we open it up from the top, but at the V2, we have a pull tab, and then we just pull it out. So let's take it out. Here we got the new Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Beluga. Okay, so I got it in my hand. So what are my first impressions of this shoe? I have to say that this shoe has actually received a lot of upgrades from V1, but of course, we all knew that some changes were gonna come to the V2 from the V1, but there's actually a lot going on in this one, both on the outside and on the inside. So let's start looking at it. Okay, so let's start at the front like I always do. Just like the V1, we have the same seam and it runs in the middle part of the shoe all the way along the shoe. And then this front toe box is divided into two parts, the left and on the right side, and it has a slightly different pattern. And if we move up towards the laces, we have thick and heavy rope laces, and it actually matches perfectly to the rest of the shoe. Looking at the side of the shoe, this is just a gorgeous silhouette. Everything about it just looks really good. An entire upper is made out of primet. However, the B1 primet is a lot thinner than this one. The only part on this one that feels similar to the B1 is the sides right here and right here. The rest of it, the front and the back, is a lot thicker. The first thing we see when we're looking at the side of the shoe is probably also the thing that most people are talking about and also the most negative thing on this shoe. Not in my opinion, but a lot of people. I'm talking about the big stripe here, the orange part. I actually like it. I think it's something different that separates this one from everything else out there. I think it's a really bold move from Adidas. In the middle part of the stripe, it says Supply 350. And like I said before, the entire stripe is, it has a solid color of orange, except the front and back where it fades into the rest of the shoe. It's a really nice added touch. So the entire upper of the shoe, except the stripe, is in the Beluga colorway. It has a two or three tone color, in my opinion. It has a green, uh, grayish kind of color with a base of orange. So wherever I press on the shoe, if it's the lighter or darker parts, we can see the orange underneath. The left and on the right side of the shoe has a little bit different colors and patterns. On this side, we have the stripe and then the Beluga color underneath. And if I turn to the other side, we have these waves or lines that runs across the shoe. It has light, dark, light, dark, and then with orange scattered throughout. Moving down to the midsole. This one has a lot of similarities from the V1. 
the 350 that has these stripes that runs all the way around the shoe. However, there's a lot of new things on it as well. One of the first things is that this sole is now semi-transparent so we can see the boost technology all the way around it. The second thing is that it's now in a two piece. The V1 had everything in one piece, but now we have the midsole and outsole glued together in two different pieces. Another thing that's different on this one is that the midsole now is a lot softer. So if I press here, I can see that this one actually goes in and the V1, I, I was not able to do that on that version because that one was a lot harder. The last thing that I can see on this shoe is that the midsole is a lot more wavy. So I think that this is a great and excellent design move from Adidas and Kanye because it follows the lines up here on the prime knit. So I gotta say, I love this entire upper. Looking at the back, the first thing we see or do not see is that we no longer have a pull strap like on the V1. This one now looks more like the Ultra Boost or maybe even a Nike Hurachi. When it goes in like that, we have this shape. And I gotta say that this one feels really good in your feet. I tried it on earlier just a little bit and it feels really good. So uh, it feels like uh, Ultra Boost more or less, really good. The last thing on the back is that we have the same seam like on the front on the back as well. So let's start looking at the inside of the shoe. Uh, at the top, we have this lining that goes all the way around it. And at the back, of course, we have the pull strap. And one really nice thing that I like about this shoe is that now we have the three stripes on the inner side. It's all about the small details. And that's what I like about this shoe. And if we continue, we have a padded part all the way around the heel. It's really thick and it feels super great around your foot. At all the different places where the laces are threaded, on the inside, we have a suede patch. It is available on every single hole from the back to the front. And I believe they made it to add more strength to the shoe, but also to make this one stand up a little bit more. The V1 only had the prime knit, but this one has the prime knit and then a second layer underneath, I believe it's suede, that adds a lot more protection and keeps your front toes in place. The entire inside of this shoe has a really nice orange pattern. Last thing on the inside, let's take out the inner sock liner. So this is what it looks like. It says Adidas, we have the trefoil logo in the middle and then Yeezy. And if you turn it around, it's all white with the Adidas and trefoil logo at the back part and then a few numbers and letters right here. Underneath the sock liner, we have a similar thing that another Adidas shoe has, the NMD. We can see the visible boost technology. Before I start talking about the outside of this shoe, there's a little thing that I forgot to mention earlier because this shoe was sitting right here. We have the tags on the side. In the US, you only get this one, but in Europe, you get two. Looking at the outsole, the first thing I noticed that's a big difference from B1 to V2 is that the front is now a lot wider. B1 was a lot narrower, just like the back of the shoe. But let's start with the bottom. We have the same thing, it says boost at the bottom. Moving up, we have the same visible boost technology just like V1. However, the one thing that's a little bit different on the upper is that now we can actually see the visible boost technology here as well. Let's talk a little bit about size. With the V1, I could have a size 11 for a snug fit or a size 11 and a half for a more loose fit. But with this one, I have to say that you have to at least go up half a size. So this one is a size 11 and a half and it fits similar to my size 11 version one. But if you want a more roomy fit, I will probably go up a full size. So if I want a more roomy fit of this one, I have to go from a size 11 to a size 12. So my advice is that if you're gonna get this model, but you want future models that are coming out, like the black and white, uh, the all gray or whatever it is, go with at least half a size up for a snugger fit or a full size up 
for a more roomy fit. Let's talk about comfort level on this one. I gotta say that I love the V1. It's a comfortable shoe, it feels really good, but this one is so much more comfortable. It's unbelievable how comfortable this shoe is. I imagined that it was gonna be a lot more comfortable than the V1, just by looking at the pictures because it's wider, it's bigger on the back, but just because the midsole is, uh, it's not as stiff, it's actually softer, and there's a lot more boost going on on the back and on the front. This is super comfortable. I wouldn't compare it with an Ultra Boost because that it's a similar, not similar, a different type of boost. It's more of an energized boost, but this is, I, I don't wanna say it, but it's almost as good as an Ultra Boost. I know it's not the same, Ultra Boost is still more comfortable than this one, but this one is super comfortable. When you're walking around and you press it down, you can actually feel it. It's like a toe that's being flattened out. And then it goes whoop and it goes up again. Super comfortable shoe. To sum up this shoe, I gotta say that I'm a big fan of it. It's super comfortable. Uh, the materials will probably last you a lot longer than V1. Um, I'm looking forward to a lot of the new colorways that's coming out. Even though I like this one, it's gonna be nice to have the same model, but where this stripe is not as visible. So maybe the gray one that's coming out, where everything is shades of gray. That one I'm looking forward to as well, like the all black with a little red, um, and so on and so on. Other than that, this primary material is excellent. It will last a long time. It feels great. Go at least half a size up. This is an excellent shoe so what do you guys think about this one if you bought it do you like it as much as me do you think it's super uh, super comfortable or did you just go no i like version one better leave a comment down below and let's discuss this shoe let's take a close-up look of the new 350 v2 Let's see what this one looks like on feet. Thanks for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this new video with this 350 V2. I most definitely enjoyed this one a lot. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget there's other videos as well. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.